welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Uh, life has happened. A lot of life has happened and... Oh, open your arm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I'm trying to film. Like I was saying, I've still been doing my crafty things and getting real creative with it, but I just didn't really feel like I wanted to do that with an audience for a while, so... I mean, I guess the last film I uploaded was in November of last year. You know, I don't really have an explanation that I particularly want to give publicly, but I'm back. Life is good. I have been doing a lot of creative things still, like this pair of overalls. I made these. These are the Partner Overalls by, I think, Sew Over It. Partner Overalls by Ready to Sew. Uh, it's a lovely pattern. It's super easy and the instructions are really great. I didn't record any of this, obviously. Yeah, I've made this pair of overalls. They're really handy. I basically live in them. And it's the third pair I made. So I made a pair with some dinosaur fabric because I thought that would be fun. I've been crocheting a bunch. I am doing the Rose Garden jacket by TS Crochet. And I've got actually got a video coming about that one because, you know, whether I'm on the first square or the 61st, the process is kind of the same. So I recorded I recorded a little bit of the middle of this, so I've got about 25 squares complete. They look like this. I think it's pretty cute. And yeah, you'll see a video about that. I tried my hand at some DIY and learned how to drill. So I put up a pegboard, swung out my new sewing room, trying to teach myself some new skills. It's been fun. It's been really interesting. I don't totally have a plan but then I never really have, so nothing's changed. <laughs> uh, yes, another project I've been working on is a baby blanket for a friend of mine. I had these granny squares, Starburst granny squares that I made ages ago, like years ago, and I kept them because so much work goes into these that I figured I'd find something to do with them at some point. And now I'm just attaching them and I'm gonna put a cute border around it, have them as a present for a friend. I also went ahead and made another baby blanket because a lot of my friends are having babies it's got some nice scalloped edging yeah i kind of made it on a whim so again not much of a plan so this is just like a free pattern that i found online it's sometimes referred to as the basket weave or boxed block stitch so it's just a cluster of treble crochets attached to a line of half double crochets and there's a bunch of tutorials for how to do that this particular one is from Daisy Farm Crafts, and I will link that down below. But yeah, she calls it the crochet box block stitch blanket, and I just made that in a baby blanket size, using some wool from Spotlight, so nothing particularly elaborate, really. I really love the colors. I used two different colors of ombre yarn, so like the purple based one, and then more of like the maroon orange, and I think it's come out lovely. Yeah, I guess, this video was mostly just to get back into the swing of things and kind of update you about where I'm at and yeah, stay tuned for a couple really interesting videos coming up. I think I will stick to my one month, one video a month plan and see how that goes. I'm still working full time, so yeah, I think I'm trying to be a little bit realistic about how much time I have. I'll probably pick up a few other kind of interests of mine. I, I'm going through the process of getting a diagnosis for ADHD and kind of what that means is just that I'm gonna be a collector of hobbies probably and I wanna embrace that rather than work against it. So if one week I want to garden instead of sew, then I will make a video about gardening. And if I wanted to crochet instead of do a DIY job, well then I'll crochet instead. And I kind of avoided doing this for a really long time because everything about a YouTube channel tells you to like find a niche and stick to like one theme of thing and that doesn't really work for me I, and I think a lot of people could probably relate that like you don't just have one singular focus hobby and I guess that's gonna be my singular focus is the fact that nothing is consistent I'm consistently inconsistent uh, I like a lot of different things I am going to embrace that rather than try to hide it away so if you relate to that kind of creative journey of wanting to do all the things all at once then please stick around I will try to upload a video every month, like I said, and it might be gardening, and it might be food preservation, and it might be 
DIY, it might be furniture restoration, <laughs> it might be all kinds of things that I'm wanting to try and maybe just a bunch of sewing and crochet. I don't actually have a plan, so if you'd like to watch that crazy journey, please don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe comment down below with something that you might want to see me try. It definitely won't be professional level, you know, gardening if that's what I do, because I've never done that before, but I want to take people along the journey just to show you that like, show you as well as myself that you don't have to be amazing at something before you give it a go. Maybe watching me try some things can give you the confidence that having a billion hobbies is actually not a bad thing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.